Jesus. Can you please Genesis chapter 7 verse 7? Genesis chapter 7 verse 7. Why are the Israelites angry? It says, listen to this real quick. Here we go. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Hello. Hello. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. There is surely going on in Jacksonville. What? There's drugs going on in Jacksonville. What? There's prostitution going on in Jacksonville. Hello. But the pastor and the bishop is worried about some gifts. Let's see what gifts do to your people. Read you got. And they do. And they want a do. And they want a do. The scribes and Pharisees wanted gifts too. It was called tithes and offering. Bring it up. The same scribes and Pharisees that's taking your money today. Ask Pastor Henry, why are we not under the law, but we under the law of tithing? Bring it up. Why is it is that the church is full of women and just old men? Where is the young lions? Where is the young warriors? Are you the bishop? Where's the bishop? Where's the pastor? But, because guess what? Hey, bishop, 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 you got your gift, everything's straight, come stand firm in the word of God. That's right. Come stand firm in the word of God. Give me Proverbs 28 verse 1. No, Proverbs 28 verse 1. Make no damn sense, man. Come check us out, bro. Hey, brother, brother in the red tie, do you know that Christ looks just like you? You might know that. Hey, hey, the crazy part about it is, black people don't understand that it takes more effort to ignore somebody than to listen to them. Bring it out. But guess what? The white person was ignoring you back in the 60s when you wanted to go eat at the bar. He ignored you when you want to sit in their cities. He ignored you good, but you didn't know your brothers. Let's see what spirit we got. Here we go. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, and verse 1. The wicked flee. All you Christians that don't want to stand on the word of God, God calls you wicked because we don't keep God's commandments. The opposite of wicked is righteous. What is righteousness? Righteousness is not celebrating Father's Day. Righteousness is not giving tithes and offering to somebody that's not even a Levite. Eat. Righteousness is not celebrating Christmas, because guess what? We got the pictures of y'all celebrating Christmas too. Read yeah, what you got. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1. Yeah. The wicked flee when no man pursue We're not running after y'all. We're not running after y'all, but guess what? It's so crazy that this church has been open since the 1900. And then when the Bible comes out, everybody runs. You know why? Because I watched the live stream and barely did the Bible come out. That means in your religion, the Bible is not used. If the Bible is not used, that means that when real men of God read it to you, you do not know what's right and what's wrong in it. That's why your bishop came to take your money and your gifts and he's going, to, going home and his dad's red. And their grandma going back to barely pay her bills. That's the problem. You know. But the righteous, but those that keep the commandments, read, are bold as a lion. Are bold as a lion. So we're boldly telling you that guess what? What you just worship is idolatry. Brother and sister, right here. Sunday stands for sun worship. Sun worship is idolatry. Give me the commandments. Give me uh, Exodus 20. Give me Exodus 20. Read what you got, huh? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the seventh day. Sister in the yellow jacket, I know the word of God does not go without void. I know you've been listening. God says, remember a day. Because sooner or later, you will forget that day. The day that blacks and Hispanics have forgotten is the Sabbath. You know why? Because you're celebrating uh, Father's Day on Sunday. Is anybody going to stand bold on their doctrine? Or are you just going to just get your feel-good message and, and give them your money and then just walk on out? And just walk on out? And guess what? Listen to this. Hey, young brother, understand this. The fly that you're tell it that you're tearing up is your ticket in the kingdom of heaven. It's your ticket in the kingdom of heaven. Because I'm going to prove to you. Give me uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Because that flyer is going to tell you to keep the commandments of God. Read right. what you got. This is the book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. This is what you should go ask your pastor, your bishop. Read. 
And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? What thing are you supposed to do to have eternal life? What thing are you supposed to do to get the kingdom of heaven? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That proof, that's proof that God, that God and the Son is not the same. Hey, check this out right quick, brother. Let me ask you a question. What do I have to do? Listen to me, bro. Y'all come down. What do you have to do to keep, what do you have to do to get the kingdom of heaven? What is required in a person to keep the, uh, to, to get the kingdom of heaven and live forever? What is required? Go through Jesus. Okay, once you go through Jesus, what you got to do then? Repent from what? What is sin? Okay. You see, you've been going to church for all your life? Mostly, right? Your pastor in these churches that's been around for hundreds and thousands of years, you should be able to speed run these questions that I'm asking you. The reason why these people are leaving is because they don't have the answers because their pastor has never given them to them. So we're going to let you know exactly what sin is. Trust and believe. We know that we are out here for the masses. We are out here just for you. We are just for you. You need to come out of that church. You came from up there. They tearing up our flyers, ignoring us. Guess what? The most High guy got you standing here for a reason, brother. Yes. So give me what sin is. Read that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Yeah. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. Whoever commits sin breaks God's laws. Now, I guarantee you in that church, and I know for a fact in that church, they don't teach God's laws because the pastor slash bishop himself on the live stream that we watch, he said, you know what? I'm not going to hold y'all real long on this sermon because I'm ready to get into them gifts. You got to keep the commandments, bro. You want to hear the answer? You want to hear the answer? I keep it destroyed, man. Read it. Read it. Read it. Somebody go hear it. Read For sin is the transgression of the law. Hey, sir. Sir with the cane. Brother. Brother. With the tan pants and the gray, and the gray shirt. With the black tie. With the black mask. With the sun that's up, walking towards a great truck and a second great truck. That's the craziness of our people, man. Give me that in Zechariah. What's that? They tear up the shoulder? Is that a one? Yeah. Seven, eleven. Seven and eleven. Hey, guess what? You're going to wish someone was behind you telling which way to go when them bombs drop. Yes, right. You're going to wish that the prophets was behind you then, really. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 7 and verse 11. Read. But they refuse to hearken. What does God say about the blacks and the Spanish in uh, the Summerfield Baptist Church? But they refuse to hearken Read. and pulled away the shoulder. They pulled away the shoulder. I described everything that the brother had on, where he was going, the direction, Read. even the color of his mask. Get out. But they refuse to hearken. You're not refusing to hearken to some Negroes in purple. You refuse to hearken to God. Read. And stop their ears. And stop their ears. You know what that goes into? Ignoring the Bible. Read. That they should not hear. Uh -huh. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. Even though the church is supposed to be a Christian-based organization slash religion, what you really are is a money racketing scheme to infect black people with Stockholm Syndrome. That's what you are. That's what the church is. Give me that scripture where it says that there is a prophet among them. And after that, get Matthew 26. Done with this place, man. 1900. Built in 1900. And you still celebrating Father's Day. Father's Day is older than your damn church. You know what I got? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 33. And when the, verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a lovely song. This is a lovely song, but I guarantee you listen to all them songs that was taught in church. Read. Of one that have a pleasant voice uh -huh. and can play well on an instrument. Read. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. They do them not. Read. And when this, when this cometh to pass, Lo, it will come. Lo, the bombs will come. The bombs will come. Hey, hey. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. At that moment, you.
don't realize the brothers of IUIC was in front of your church on Father's Day. Teaching you salvation. That you stopped the show that you pulled away from God. You tore up the flyer. But guess what? We will not be with you always just like Christ had to leave. Give me Matthew 26. Man, we don't this place. We're going to dust our feet. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.